All right. So I heard, I heard there's a second Mithrigan trailer, and we better react to this soon because uh, it's coming out Jan sixth. Okay, this is gonna be the biggest event that ever happened on January sixth. It's time to watch trailer two for Mithrigan. Uh, if only it were trailer three for Mithrigan. A trailer Mithrigan. Uh, Lion King Part 2 Jan 6? No. No. All right. I designed Megan to protect Katie from feeling lonely. Okay, this is already a very different tone than the first trailer. I designed Megan to protect Katie from feeling lonely. Designed. So, like, the mom is the creator, which is interesting. She will recognize you as her primary user. I can react to Cocaine Bear, sure. And when you do that, you're going to pair with her. Crazy. It's insane, right? Oh, don't I look okay, so this trailer is definitely going for a bit more campy of a vibe than the first one was. So I think that I made the right call at the end of my reaction to the first trailer. Because at first I was like, what the fuck is this shit? This looks bad. Uh, then I looked up obviously James Wan producing and the director of the previous film making a, or sorry, the director of the film making a previous movie called Housebound, I think, which was an Australian movie. And it had a good sense of humor to it. And it was kind of like a campy horror movie. It was kind of like an indie thing, but it was like, all right. A lot of people loved it. I thought it was fine, but you know. Okay, now this is too loud. Megan, your goal... Why? Okay, I love how the subtitle says Mithrigan. <laughs> so that's like literally the name of the doll. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Mithrigan. Megan, your goal is to protect Katie from harm. Katie. K C A D Y Katie. Both physical. Katie. Caddy. Okay. I said this in the first trailer reaction. She. She has to be nepotism, right? Like she's <laughs> all of her, all of every every subtlety to her facial expression is like unintentionally funny. I don't understand. Physical and emotional. One, two, three, four, five, Unless it's just a part of the joke or something. I won't let anything harm you. Damn, the tone is so different in this trailer. This is insane. It really goes to show just what marketing can do. Because, like, if, if trailer one was the only thing that it existed, I think people would be left with, like, an entirely different impression of what the movie is supposed to be. This is a bit more, like, tongue-in-cheek. We'll see what the trailer gets to in the obvious shift to the second horror tone of the trailer that it's going to inevitably go to, but we'll see. I love her. Megan's not a person, Katie. You don't get to say that. This is, this is fun. I like this trailer. This is so much better. Ah, <laughs> Mithrigan, you mean. What are you doing? Come also, on. thanks for including subtitles. Who did this? Universal Pictures, thank you for including subtitles on your YouTube upload. It's not in 4K. I'm not going to give you full credit yet. Oops. But thank you for at least giving a shit about deaf people, unlike Apple. Sleep. Occupational hazard. Got your full attention. This is cool. Stop. What the hell is that? You should probably run. There's I don't think he's going to die there. There's no way he's going to die there. They're showing it in the trailer. This might be copyrighted, I don't know. Replace it with Nanolan if you have to, so. I won't let anything harm you ever again. Again, 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 again. GLaDOS. Auto tune. Ah. I didn't do it that well that time. That's the smallest piano I've ever seen. What the fuck? Megan. Have I done something to upset you, Gemma? I know you think you're maximizing your objective function. <laughs> It seems like so much more of a comedically toned trailer now compared to the first one. Holy shit. Have I done something to upset you, Gemma? I know you think you're maximizing your objective function. 
I know you think you're maximizing your... That seems like a line that's supposed to be like comedically delivered in the context of the film. Like, trailer one was so misleading. Oh, really? Sugar, spice, and everything nice. No, that's no... This seems fun! I'm gonna watch Mithrigan for sure. I was gonna watch it anyway, but like, fuck. Megan? It's so... Di they showed this exact same scene in the other trailer. They showed, like, a tiny bit of it. But it was, like, so much more seriously toned. Like, Bruh! like, whoa! Duh! She's gonna kill you, bruh! And like, it was, like, it was, like, a weird moment in that trailer. I was like, what the fuck? But now it, like, it makes so much more sense. Like, all because of the editing and the marketing, like, holy fuck, it really goes to show. Marketing can do so much, and I'm glad I kind of saw through it by, you know, researching who the director was and having seen one of his films. But, like, Jesus, like, if people only saw trailer one, they're going to be left with such a different impression of what the film's supposed to be. You'd have to shut her down. It's, like, it's supposed to be, like, kind of campy fun. It, like, it seems self-aware in some way, right? Yeah, malignant, James Wan, exactly. Oh, Jesus Christ, I thought we were friends. I have a new primary user. It's biggest, um... The biggest risk that it's taking right here, I guess, or my biggest fear, is that it will try too hard to be cool. But it seems like it's striking, like, a decent balance at this moment. No. Me. It seems like it's kind of funny. <laughs> it seems like it might be fun. Did you make him do something bad? What's going on? What are you? I'm Megan. Say Mathregan. Stop saying Megan Bethrigan in the subtitles if you're not going to pronounce it right. <laughs> wow. <Don't> Baby dolls kill. <laughs> all, we will. <laughs> all right. I'm totally going to pull a Jan 6 and see this movie. So, yeah. Fuck it. Like, if they're selling... Should I see if there's... I'm going to write this on my, my Atlanta calendar to make sure. Okay. I wrote it on my other calendar. All right. I made sure to write Mithrigan in my calendar. So, mark your calendar, Gerard Johnstone. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm totally going to watch this for sure. It's December 2022, so let's update this list of $5 patrons. Easy Game 69, Sam McKenney, Nico Fuentes, Joel999, Melly, Riggle Moss, Speak of the Joker, Orange Juice Slurper is legally married to the character Rock from Osamu Tezuka's hit manga Vampires, Black Mama 1993, Yup Yup Yup, Caden Mack, Charisma, the Super One Player, Zachary Kane, Gothic Sith, Mandelbro, Wales, Bo the Doggo, Gabriel Herrera, Hufido, and Lemonade Warrior is participating in the hit game Among Us and is considered the encroacher. Take care and happy holidays.